If you're looking for the cheapest room on the entire Las Vegas Strip, but you don't want to sacrifice on the location, the amenities, or the overall Vegas experience, then this is the room for you. For $22, this room will put you in the center of it all. So that way you can build a Vegas vacation custom fit for you. This room obviously has a nice, big, comfortable king bed that came with it. Pillows, nice and soft. And it also has a tabletop here in the corner, so it comes with two chairs here. You do have your TV in case you wanna watch any TV while you are here in the room, but in Vegas, you're probably gonna be out and about. The other thing this room came with that I did not expect at all was this whole separate nook over here. Where they've got this cushion chair if you wanna sit down and relax, and they have this workstation right here set up. I'm on the 17th floor. My view is looking out west so I can see out towards I-15 freeway. It doesn't take long once you walk in this room to see around and notice that it's actually a bit dated from the furniture to the lamps to even the artwork they have on the walls. But if you're watching this video, you're looking for cheap. You're not looking for the most luxurious. So you need something that's just going to be good enough. And that's what this room is. The bed is comfortable. The air conditioner works. You step into the bathroom here and the bathroom has a single sink Plenty of counter space for you and whoever you're gonna be sharing the room with. They have a single shower head on here and you have exactly what you need to have a good time here in Las Vegas. So that you don't have to spend a lot of time in your room. You can spend your day out doing all kinds of fun activities. There we go. Hey recruit, fix your rack. As we get going here, I'm gonna take you guys to two cool spots. One, I heard there's a really cool view inside this hotel. And two, I'm gonna take you guys to one of the newest restaurants in all of Las Vegas. And lastly, you guys stick with me to the end. I will tell you about my rather awkward check-in process here at the front desk. Welcome to the Strat Hotel and Casino. This is where I found the cheapest room on the entire Las Vegas Strip, just five days booking it ahead of time. You have the entire Strip to the south, plus you have all of Fremont Street to the north, putting you right in the middle of all the action.
are sitting inside Chi Asian Kitchen. This is right next to the Uber and Lyft pickup and drop off spot inside the Strat. This place is the newest restaurant inside of the Strat. It opened in October of 2022. So it's a mixture of different Asian foods. So not just Chinese, but they have Chinese, they have Korean, they have Vietnamese. They have a variety of different Asian foods that you can choose from for your lunch or dinner. Food arrived, this came very quickly. I ordered the Mongolian beef. And the reason I wanted to show you guys this place is because it is the newest spot in the Strat. Nobody has shown this yet. I wanna be the first one to give this a try and let you guys know how it is. I like it. You guys know me, you guys know I'm a protein guy. This is a little bit spicy. It's really not that bad. If you like spicy, you'll like this, but it's very, very tolerable. Final thoughts about the Mongolian beef plate I just had. Obviously, it was amazing because I ate all of it. Now, as I started to eat more of it, it was a bit spicier than I initially realized it was gonna be. So if you really don't have a tolerance for spicy food, probably not the best choice, but if you can tolerate spicy food to you, if you like it, go for it. Rice was good, mixed some of it in, I didn't have a lot of it, but the rice was good to have with it, the beef was great, the veggies were great with it. The other things to know about this place, when you come in here, they have two types of seating. They have the tabletop seating, like I'm at here. They have the uh, high top seating. They also have a bar area, you can sit at if you like. They do have a wine cabinet here. Plus they have two semi-private rooms that you can use for private events if you'd like. One of them is right here that we're standing in. They have a six seat table for you that's away from the main floor. And if this way, if you come through here, they have an entirely separate one that can accommodate about eight to 10 people. So if you're coming with a group, you wanna do something special for the group, you do have two semi-private rooms that you can choose from depending on how large your group is. So the newest spot here inside the Strat, Chi Asian Kitchen, go for it. On the casino floor here at the Strat, you're gonna notice there's plenty of slot machines they have to choose from. Lots of ones you're gonna see any other major casino across the Vegas Valley. For those of you that are blackjack players, you're used to seeing 6-5 blackjack all over the strip. They do have that here, but you'll be very happy to know they also have 3-2 blackjack available. And if you're a roulette player, you'll be very happy to know that there is no triple zero roulette here at the Strat on the strip. They do double zero, there is no triple zero. The sports book here at the Strat is gonna have the same sports and the same odds that you're gonna find at a lot of other places on the Las Vegas Strip. But one thing that's different is you can probably tell just by looking at it, this is a much more laid back environment. So if you're someone who is newer to sports betting, you don't have as big a bankroll as other people in it, or you get intimidated by going to some of the huge sports books around Las Vegas, coming here can be a good spot because you can get started. The clerks who work here have more free time to talk to you. They can answer your questions. They can help guide you along a lot more than the other big sports books who may not have that time because they're too busy. The other thing that's cool, that's a cheap option here that people don't even realize when they're coming to Vegas is transportation. Particularly when you're here at the Strat, they have the downtown shuttle loop that's completely free that stops and picks you up here. Also, if you wanna to go to the south end of the Strip, say you're gonna to go to the T-Mobile Arena or even you wanna to go to a Raiders game here on Sunday at Allegiant Stadium, you can just walk two blocks over the Sahara, hop on the monorail, grab a ticket there and just ride down towards the south end of the strip. So you can stay at a room here at the Strat for a third of what it may cost you to stay closer to the stadium, but that transportation option is a great one right here and can still save you a lot of money. Ugh. Okay, okay. 
So let's talk about some of the cons and the pros if you're going to be staying at the cheapest room on the entire Las Vegas Strip. So I did this video focusing on a place with a casino because there's motels and other places you could stay at, but I wanted to focus on one of the more well-known properties that has a casino. Now, if you're going to go for cheap, you can do it with this room. Now, one of the cons about this place, specifically here at the Strat, the big one I'm sure some of you know is the area. The area around the Strat is known for being bad, just to put it simple. Okay, I've talked about that in other videos. Don't have to go over it a whole lot here. The other con about staying here is the $45 resort fee. So I got the room for $22 through some third party, $45 resort fee. Uh, you add some other fees and taxes on top of that. You're looking at 60, some 67, maybe 70 something dollars. Uh, out the door. I could not get the full price when I checked out because the staff here cannot access the third party So they cannot even give me a full printout of all the charges But doing some rough math somewhere in their high 60s low 70s is what you're paying for this room One thing they do list though in the resort fee here is they show that it includes You get 20% off the sky jump if you decide to do that And if you just want to go up to the observation deck like we did earlier It's five bucks on the weekdays for hotel guests or ten bucks on the weekends there's also a $4 convenience fee for a person. So if you're here on a weekday like me, it was $9 a person to go up there to the observation deck, but it's all good for all day. So you can go in and out as much as you want all day up there. One other con of staying at this property is you're gonna notice there's really not much in terms of like nightlife stuff here. So they do have one place where they have live music on the weekends, but you know, if you want like the club scene, you're not gonna find that here. They do have bars and lounges and stuff you can go to, but you're not gonna find that club environment if you're looking for that. Talking about the pros, of staying here if you're looking for a cheap spot, you're looking for a very budget friendly option, either for yourself as a couple or a family, is the location. So you have the entire Las Vegas trip to the south, so you can get down there pretty quickly from here. Plus you're also only a mile or so just down the road from Fremont Street. So you're really right in between, you know, the two biggest uh, tourist areas of the entire Las Vegas Valley. And you also have plenty of ways to get to these places for transportation. So the downtown loop is a free shuttle that stops right here at the Strat. You have the Deuce bus that stops right here. You also have the monorail, just a short walk over at uh, the Sahara. If you want to go to the south end of the strip, you want to go to any events or things like that. Also, if you want to take Uber, Lyft, or Tax, you have those options as well. So you have plenty of transportation options that are affordable to get up and down Las Vegas Boulevard to get to really the vast majority of the tourist stuff that we have here in Sin City. They also have numerous places to eat upstairs in the second level here. Other kinds of fun things you can do like an arcade, gift shops, things like that. They do have a fitness facility here, so they've got a room if you want to go work out, you can. They also have a pool, but the pool does close when the weather cools off. So depending on when you get here, you know, that pool might be closed from October, November-ish to, you know, like April, March, somewhere around there. And one of the biggest pros of staying here, if you're looking for cheap, is that there's a lot more to do in this area than people realize or give it credit for. Here on the property itself, they have seven places to eat. They have half a dozen shows. Uh, they even have a comedy club here. Once you step outside the strap, there's several activities that really get overshadowed a whole lot because of the strip in Fremont Street. You've got scooter rental place if you want to take that, or more like mopeds is what they are. You've got a shooting range right here. You have a dispensary. You've got the world's largest gift shop. You have tons and tons of wedding chapels. So if you're coming for a wedding here in Vegas, you may want to look to stay here. Also, you're just right down the road from the Arts District, which is right in between Fremont Street and here the Strat. That gets overlooked a lot. A very popular locals area to go if you want to go get food, drink, bar hop, enjoy some of the nightlife and stuff like that. And shout out to the front desk guy who when I tried to check in a little bit early, he did not have a standard room available. He offered me an upgrade for $30. I said thanks, but no thanks because I have to do the video on the cheapest room. Then after a moment, he says, okay, well, I can actually just get you in a room now and upgrade you for free. And I turned it down and he goes, well, no, 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 because it's a free upgrade this time. I said, no, I'll just take the standard room. And he looked at me kind of funny and I said, okay, man, I'm here doing a video about staying at the cheapest room on the Vegas Strip. So I need it to be the standard room because that's the cheapest. He goes, oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> he said, I was wondering why you would turn down a free upgrade. <laughs> so I shout out to that guy for the free upgrade anyway. I appreciate the hospitality, but I had to do a video focused on this room. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.